Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA may have just given us the best Foot Champs Weekend League reward update we have ever seen inside of this game. We got the best of both worlds with what they upgraded Weekend League rewards to yesterday with the Red Picks, with Team of the Week coming back today. We've got Red Picks back in rewards, but we also have the 84 plus Rare Gold Player Picks, which give us promo cards and great fodder in general. We get both in rewards, and EA slapped those two together and said, here you to go for rank six and above you can get the option of both well not even the option you actually get both so i want to talk about that and the fact that there's a lot more people that will want to play weekend league with those better rewards the best rewards we've ever had and ea gifted qualification points to everybody once again so everybody's going to be trying to qualify for weekend league this weekend which could impact the market actually it will impact the market and i want to talk about that because we were expecting maybe to see some panic but that means more demand more team buying and hopefully a pretty healthy market throughout the rest of this weekend so we'll talk more about that today of course there still could be panic if we see a really good loading screen or some leaks about the foot centurions promo on a part of today's content so we'll look at that and of course Today's a big day for the packs once again with the rewards for the FIFA World Cup objectives. You're collecting those red World Cup cards, levels 1 through 10 or wherever you were able to climb in that um, completion level. Uh, those will be paid out today as well. A lot of packs, a lot of fodder. We're going to be watching the fodder market today a lot as well. So there's a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about these weekend league rewards. We were very curious to see what EA was going to do because we knew that team of the week was going to be something that was coming back, right? EA said January 4th today was going to be the day team of the week was coming back. Team of the week 10 is going to be dropped in the game today. We'll look at a prediction here in just a bit. But ahead of that, they, of course, had to upgrade the weekend league rewards because with team of the week being back, we all wondered what are they going to do are they going to keep rewards the same revert them to what they used to be or this is basically the best option out of those three combine them give us the 84 plus player picks and the red picks i know it's only one of two if you get rank six this is nine wins right here you get one player pick with the, the golds one of two you get the one of four red picks and you get the tradable team of the week pack if you get only six wins you don't get the 84 plus player pick you just get the 50 the 100k and the two red picks right there one of four rank five looks incredible guys you get two one of two 84 rare gold player picks then you get the three red player picks and you get the premium team of the week pack it looks fantastic and it keeps getting better as you move up if you're somebody who gets rank four or above but you were usually stopping at rank five just because it was easier and you still got good rewards this might be your time to grind take a look at rank two you get four 84 plus player picks they're one of four you get four foot champions red player picks you get two premium team of the week packs two 125s and for those that are going for 20 and 0 you are finally getting rewarded with three tradable premium team of the week packs and an untradable 84 times five and of course four different player picks from both the 84 pluses and the foot champs players all of these rewards look fantastic rank four actually looks really really good for the grind as well but especially ranks six and rank five i think look really good because you get the gold player picks and you get the red team of the week player picks and that's fantastic so big time ggs to ea sports for doing that and then also they gave everybody the opportunity to play qualifiers again like right now i have the ability to play playoffs earlier today i only got six weekends last week in weekend league but ea sent a message out yesterday saying that the team of the week was going to be dropping on the game today on wednesday which we knew was going to happen they also said because of this we're gifting everybody the opportunity to play in foot champs qualifiers once again so it's just like last weekend where there's going to be a lot of demand on the market for promo cards for people to build and to buy teams and that actually sent the market up a little bit yesterday after people saw that news it looked like some people went out to the market and actually wanted to buy some cards so some cards went up just a little bit not that crazy but what this means is ea is pushing us to build teams, to buy cards, and it's probably gonna mean that the market is gonna stay pretty healthy throughout the next couple of days. Now, this is something that maybe we didn't expect to see two weekends in a row that EA gifts us weekly qualification. We, of course, were maybe expecting to see a bit of a downturn in the market this week with the loading screen, Foot Centurion seems like a W promo idea, but without any news or information around that, the market seems to be doing pretty healthy as people are going out and buying teams once again to get ready for weekly. You can see, Alo 
Weyron was 620,000 coins yesterday after content was just okay yesterday. It was good, but like not super crazy. He ab actually went up in price a little bit. He's about 640,000 coins right now. Of course, uh, one of the biggest risers right now is this Bruno Guimaraes, 220k, but that's a direct correlation to the Pope upgrade that finally freaking happened. EA took their sweet time with this, but 88 rated Pope, uh, of course, is upgraded now. People are very excited about that. Bruno Guimaraes, you can see his rise in price is directly correlated to that. He was 200K, and then his upgrade happened just a couple hours ago, and he's been slowly rising ever since and rising to new heights as people get those Newcastle links into their club also playing yesterday. So a little bit of hype around Newcastle and drawing Arsenal in that game as well. But the, what this really means for the market is the market's probably going to stay pretty healthy and we're going to have a really, really great weekend to trade. Now, if you sold cards earlier on in the week, I still think you're going to be fine. I still think that was a good decision because there still could be panic on the game today. There still could be a loading screen. Again, with the Foot Centurions promo, there still could be players that are leaked. The Foot Sheriff post that we start seeing on Twitter and people talking about this upcoming promo that could cause a little bit of panic, but the underlying factor of the weekend on this game once again is there is going to be gameplay demand, which means it will be a fantastic time to trade. Like we saw last week, it was a really good time to buy teams early on Friday. The content dropped and then prices rose a lot higher Friday into the late night time as people were going out and playing weekend league since they were able to qualify. It also meant that the market was doing very well last week on Wednesday and Thursday as people were playing qualifiers with their main teams going out buying cards, you will have plenty of opportunities to trade in and out of cards and the market should be pretty healthy from a standpoint of demand for the next couple of days this week. So that's kind of my outlook on the market, right? I know that we've been talking about selling and being worried about the potential panic. Winter wild cards from Team 2, um, they some of them went up a little bit yesterday. I actually bought a Kimmich at was a pretty low price at like 630k. Now, will he go up enough to profit off of him? Right now, he's only about 650. He was just 660. A couple undercuts coming in there, but the market is pretty healthy because of just that demand that is going to be there throughout this weekend with people playing the weekend league. Now, like we said, other stuff that is dropping on the game today that could potentially hurt that would be a loading screen. Guys, it's been really, really quiet. EA have not put a loading screen out yet. Today, I would believe almost has to be the day. If they don't do a loading screen today, that would be very weird. We didn't get one yesterday, so they didn't do like the really early loading screen. But today on Wednesday, two days before the promo, I expect to see a loading screen that says the car design or like foot centurions coming in one day, 23 hours, that sort of thing. And if we get leaks about what this promo could be about, that could maybe create a little bit of panic on the market. But again, with all the demand that is there for people to buy teams, maybe some people will ignore that and say, hey, I've got to go play my foot champs qualifiers. I'm going to go buy cards for my team that I need anyways. And I'm not going to be selling and panicking because of that loading screen. So it's really going to depend on the leaks to see if we get some panic selling on the market. But healthy market means good things for making coins. Now, part of the market that's moving after yesterday's content is the fodder side of the market, and it's going to move even more today. Yesterday, we had the Fadiga, I think is how you say his name, left-wing SBC, one of the leaked ones. It's really not that good. It's it's honestly pretty average. And Pepe, I think most people see Pepe as a card that's either just as good or better than this. So this card, that SBC, was not that great. But also yesterday we had another gamble pack, which is what we expected. We had an 84 plus times five upgrade. Now, good news is this made 84s go up. If you had invested in 84s, that's great because they're probably going to keep going up today. This SBC is repeatable once every day. It requires three 84s and an 83 rated squad and a team of the week. And that's kind of funny that EA do this because today, of course, is when team of the weeks are coming back. But yesterday, as EA required team of the weeks, it made these cards go all the way up to the high 20,000 coin range. They're back down a little bit now, but they went up and had kind of like one last spike in price yesterday because of the SBC dropping. Now for the 84s, like we mentioned, they are definitely up in price. These guys were in the low 3K range yesterday. They're now three and a half thousand coins. Some of them were four. 4K. 
I expect them to spike again today. So if you have the 84s, I think it's a great opportunity to keep listing them for lazies. These guys will be consistently 4K probably later today into tomorrow. So if you have those, I would list those up and uh, try to get some sales there. The rest of the fodder market is either slowly rising or staying about the same. But like we talked about, the high tier is slowly crawling up just a bit more. 89s, 33K, 90s are about 50,000 coins. 91s are about to go above 60K, right? De Bruyne is 60. Lewandowski is 61. Benzema 61. Those high tier cards for people that are crafting the um, SPC for Jarzinho, like I am almost done with it. And especially after today, when we've been talking about the last couple of days, getting all of this fodder, I really, really believe that people are going to take this stuff, go back out, do more SBCs, and uh, you're going to see fodder just continue to slightly rise on the market with the demand that's going to be there for doing SBCs. So watch out for that high rated fodder rising up a little bit more in price. Um, we don't have any other big SBCs. The base icon player pick, this is something to keep on your radar. The base icon player pick actually refreshes on Friday, I believe. Yeah, this actually refreshes on Friday. Um, if I've done my math correctly, I haven't done it, so I can't see the timer. But this SBC is going to bring some demand to the middle tier of the market and the 88s and above one more time on Friday. So we have to be careful with fodder in that range. But I still would probably look to get out of my fodder cards if you've invested um, between today, tomorrow, and before Friday, just because we know the lightning rounds on Friday and stuff like that. And people just sell fodder usually on Friday mornings anyway, as we get people that are also opening rewards from foot champs that get the foot champs games done uh, before the content drops. So definitely keep an eye on the fodder market, but all is well there. Yesterday, we also had the daily login upgrade SBC, which is still there, by the way. If you missed any of the daily logins, this SBC is still here. You can still do it. Uh, there are two more days, I believe, that you'll be able to do this because it expires in two days. And actually, you might be able to do this all the way up until Friday, which, yes, would be today on Wednesday and tomorrow on Thursday. You can do this two more times. And then, of course, if you're a little behind, on these objectives, you will be getting your guaranteed winter wild cards player. And you will be getting uh, the 83 times 10 that people were first able to get yesterday. So we opened these yesterday. A lot of people got fodder yesterday. Um, and these 83 times 10s were not that fantastic. Usually it's like five or six or more 83s in the pack. But the winter wildcard player packs, we got some big Ws. We packed somebody Conte yesterday. We packed Kimmich. It's a fun pack to have. And I'm excited to get another one from uh, whatever the objective is that gives out another one. Yeah, the winter wildcards cup. I am two wins away from that. Hoping to get that one tomorrow. That That'll be fun uh, to get another guaranteed Winter Wild Cards player uh, just because of the gamble aspect of those that are pretty fun. Now, let's talk about a couple more things today. Of course, we're getting the World Cup rewards, but that also means that if you have any of the red World Cup cards that are in your team, say goodbye because those are going to be going away today. Now, the only thing that's interesting is these go away at the content drop time. So 6 p.m. UK, normal content drop time today. All of these cards are supposed to disappear. Now, I think EA did say at one point that it might not be instantaneous for all of these. It might take a bit of time for all of them to be rinsed out of the game and to rinse out of your club or to disappear. Not really rinse, I guess. Uh, so just kind of keep an eye out for that if those are in your team. I really don't think the market's going to be impacted that much uh, by those cards going away. Maybe a couple of golds will move up just a little bit more, uh, especially with the extra gameplay demand. But I, I think that a lot of people are able to acquire cards that have maybe replaced those World Cup items. They know they're going away. It might be a surprise to some today, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a market impact. People will be able to plug and play maybe the gold version of the card that they had. Uh, so that's why maybe a slight rise on some golds like VVD, if you had that in your team, maybe Neymar. I mean, shoot, maybe a very slight rise on Mbappe or Ronaldo or Messi. Kind of your most meta top tier golds that are not fodder, if you will, um, on this game. Could happen over the weekend, next couple of days with those going away. Now, where's our token going to be today? Yesterday, it was in the uh, first owner Fiesta or Ford Fiesta game mode, as a lot of people like to call it. And usually on Wednesdays, we see it in the Silver Stars game mode. So watch out for another Silver Stars player today. Probably going to be either a Winter Wild Cards player or a Team of the Week card with Team of the Week coming back. And I think that our token might be inside of here. Once again, we'll just have to see. That will be token number 25 in total. Now, I don't think it's the last token we're going to get. I still think we maybe have two or three more header away. We will just have to see what EA dropped today. But watch out for Silver Stars. Get your Silver teams ready and watch your Silver cards in the market because they could be in a bit of extra demand today if, of course, they put the token in there. Now, speaking of Team of the Week, let's talk about these cards really, really fast once again. Yesterday, we saw this Team of the Week prediction on stream. 
And I was really remembering like, man, I, I don't miss team of the weeks. I really don't. Because when you look at this, you see an 84 Rashford, you see an 86 Griezmann. Basically, every card that's in here, even the 87 Odegaard, he's got the road to the knockout card that's better, right? Almost every single player in here that's, like, worth using, per se, for a, from a meta perspective, already has a better card in the game. But, of course, some of these guys that don't have special cards are just some cool gems that we look for every single week in the Team of the Week. Team of the Week is back. These cards are going to be tradable on the market today. Um, and if you've opened or saved Team of the Week packs, they will upgrade and update to Team of the Week 10 today it's going to be very interesting to see how this affects the market these cards will probably be decently supplied right away now that unless ea drop holland or something in the team of the week today i don't expect any like massive massive players um but we'll just have to see what ea do because they could try to put somebody like holland in and say okay we're gonna drop this team of the week 10 with a bang which 1.1 million coins maybe some people know something that we don't because that is up a decent amount in price and his price there so maybe a surprise team of the week today, maybe EA juice it, we'll just have to see. But again, that's why we shouted and said, hey, if you have these team of the week cards still, it's a great opportunity to sell them, especially if they're lower rated, because some of these guys that are still like 20,000 coins, EA is going to be dropping a lot of 80 rated and below informs again today in Team League 10 that are going to be discard within minutes on the market with that supply. So make sure you sell any tradable Team of the Weeks. The last call to get out of these um, bronze, silver, gold Team of the Weeks, I would get them all out uh, because they have the possibility to be replaced by new ones uh, that, of course, a lot of those cards are just fodder and they're just cheap for the reason that they're um, used in SBCs. So even though there'll be demand for Team of the Week cards today, I think the lower tier, like the low below 80 rated ones, you want to sell those because there is still a little bit of demand in here for the 84 plus times five. But, you know, if you want it or you need a Team of the Week card, just go do the 81 plus Team of the Week SBC, which with all the fodder we're going to be getting today, my advice to you would be, Open up your packs from the World Cup mode, get all the fodder, and then rinse into this, right? This is an 81 plus team of the week, and all you have to do is turn in an 83 rated squad. You do have to have 384s, but with all the packs that we're getting today, that'll be really, really easy to do. That costs you like, what, 12K or something like that? Put in some 84s, a couple of those, get your 82s, 83s, finish out the rest of the squad, and you'll have yourself a team of the week player that you can put in that 84 plus times five as well with the other fodder that you get from the World Cup packs today. So that would be my recommendation. Rip open these packs, see what you get, then start crafting from there. It'll be interesting to see if these packs just like automatically go into our store. If it happens right away, there's a lot of opportunity today for like EA mistakes as well. So we're going to have to keep a very, very close eye on that. Now, also today is Wednesday um, and we're expecting another SBC for a player, right? A Winter Wild Cards player. The only one that we have leaked still is another Bundesliga player that goes by the name of Hans Stryker. Definitely going to be a lengthy player. It's leaked to be 99 physical. I believe he's like six foot something. He's a pretty tall player. So that might be our last player SBC unless EA have another surprise planned for us. But today's going to be such an interesting day because really the loading screen in the leaks really depend on what's going to happen for the market for the rest of the week but since there's consistent demand if you see cards that are low if you see opportunities to flip and to trade absolutely go for it and try to trade some of these cards it's been a pretty good day i sold the storage cop for 760 kind of timed the sale smack dab on and he's down below a little bit of that you know Militao was just like 740 again and i was like hmm that's pretty low look he's back up to 790 so not a ton of profit on these flips they're pretty short movements in most places but if you find the right fluctuations, if you find a rare card, you'll have opportunities to make coins because there is team building demand and people will be going out and building teams with that demand for playing weekend league there. So that kind of whole thing shakes up this weekend on this game because we thought the market was going to die off a bit. But with extra weekend league demand still being there, it's going to take a lot of panic to make the market really drop off. But we'll have to see. We're going to be covering it day by day. And of course, whatever we get today should be a pretty interesting day. I'm hoping that EA spice it up once again and, you know, drop a loading screen, EA. I want to see that car design. I want to see maybe even if they tease like the players that are on the loading screen. That'll probably be tomorrow. But I just want some information about this next promo because I'm kind of getting excited for it based off of the stuff we talked about yesterday. Hopefully, we have a lot more to talk about tomorrow related to Foot Centurions. But for today, watch out for those packs. Have fun. Good luck. Hope you get good stuff. We'll be streaming live and open them together. Twitch.tv slash foot account. Link down below in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Happy Wednesday. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.